Hey everyone, it's time for a quick coffee plant update. So if you remember back in the late spring, I bought a coffee plant. I've been posting some photos on Instagram and on Twitter with updates on the new growth and stuff. Um, I'll actually put a link up in the card and in the description below to the video I did when I bought the coffee plant. So I thought it was a good idea to do a quick update. So without further ado, here is my coffee plant. Yep, it died. It was just too hot for this little plant this summer. With temperatures in the 90s and 100s for almost two months, it was just way too much for this little plant to take. Um, it's possible that if it were a, a much larger, more mature plant, it could have survived uh, the heat of the summer, but it still would have been heavily damaged uh, by all the heat. I had the plant in full shade under a huge pepper tree that we have in our backyard, so it really had no direct sun at all during the summer, just a little bit of filtered sun through the leaves, uh, but just the, the heat of the air uh, just started burning the leaves. You can see the edges of the leaves turning black until all of the mature leaves started falling off and then the whole stem and everything just turned black. I kept it outside as an experiment. I really wanted to see if it could survive all summer long outside. Um, ultimately, I wanted to buy several more plants and plant them in the ground uh, under the shade of one of my trees. Uh, that way, you know, that they could grow a lot larger and I could get a lot more coffee beans from them. So I guess I got my answer whether it would survive outside year round or not. I'm still going to grow coffee plants. Uh, this next time though, I'm going to put it in a much smaller, lighter pot. That way I can actually bring it inside during the heat of the summer and the coldest days of winter. Now this will limit how many plants I can have and how big they will grow, but I should still, still be able to get some good usable coffee beans from them. And I'll use most of the coffee beans for brewing and then maybe save some of the coffee beans to start new seedlings of plants and keep growing those myself, give them to friends, sell them. So anyway, this was just a real quick update on the coffee plant situation. Um, I'm bummed that this one did not survive, but it was a good experiment and I now have a lot more knowledge going forward to grow new coffee plants. I wanted to make this video since it's been quite a while since I've uh, made or uploaded any videos. I'm getting back on schedule with my videos, so there will be a lot more content coming soon. Stay tuned.